Pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have got a very special video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the all-new, brand-new Speedy B V3 Nano Bluetooth Adapter. This special little guy is super awesome because you can put it on any flight controller and add Bluetooth. You're not going to want to miss this. <laughs> All right, pilots. So here's the deal. I built the Master FPV drone by Speedy Bee. And I built this guy with the Speedy Bee stack in it. If you want to check that video out, by the way, I've got a full video building it and flying it and just having a blast. I'll put that video link down for you in the video description. But when I built this guy, I took it out to the field and God, it flew amazing. But I needed to make some changes, and due to this being a Speedy B stack, I was able to pull out my phone, open up my Speedy B app, and make all the changes that I wanted to make, from flight controller to ESE to black box, you name it, it does it. But here's the deal. What if I wanted to do that with a drone or a stack that is not Speedy B? And this is an awesome feature to have because if I wouldn't have had that, I would have had to have either brought a laptop or waited till I got back here into the shop so that I could work on that drone. Why would I do that in 2023 when we have Bluetooth devices that we can put in our drones and fly any single stack we want? So I am super excited to go over this with you guys. I'm going to show you how to wire this up, how to set it up, and just how incredibly simple this is to build and enjoy and just no more bringing a computer to the field. We're going to do this stuff Bluetooth style. It's 14 by 11 millimeters and it only weighs five grams. You can buy one for nine bucks or you can get two for 15 bucks. That means you're paying like 750 for this guy. <laughs> it comes with everything you could ask for right inside of the bag. Check this out. Oh, did I mention they pre-soldered it for you? Look at that. The wires are already connected. Silicone wire on it, ready to go. You even get a little bit of heat shrink so you can protect it. You get two chunks. You get two chunks of double side sticky tape. 3M double side sticky tape so that way you can place it or hide it or stick it or do whatever you need to do to put this guy out of the way in your build because once it's soldered and once it's installed you'll never need to touch it again. It's literally a one of a kind with a LED indicator right here so you can know the status of your Bluetooth module. You've got your beautiful Bluetooth antenna and your Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip right here. If I flip it over, you're gonna notice that I've got an extra pad labeled BT underscore switch. Yes, that's right. If you solder that low, you can actually disable this guy without having to deal with it. Some of its other features contain an actual auto disable mode. And what that means is, is when the Bluetooth module senses that you've armed your quadcopter, it will actually disable itself. So that way it doesn't interfere with your VTX or your receiver or maybe the next guy's stuff. I'm not done. It also has a locking feature. What does that mean? That means you can set a password on this guy so when you're dealing with your Bluetooth and maybe someone else who's also trying to connect to Bluetooth, you don't have to worry about them interfering or messing with your stuff. Let's go ahead and dive into how to set this up. So I'm gonna show you right here on any flight controller you want, and I've got everything from a T-Motor F7. I mean, I just grabbed a couple things. I've got everything from a T-Motor F7. I've got an all-in-one. This is a very good example because this is a 25 by 25 mounting, which sometimes means that my connector to connect to my computer from my flight controller, which is exactly what this Bluetooth module is for, sometimes ain't where I need it to be, so I can't get to it. And I don't want to pull the whole drone apart, so what do I do? I put in a Bluetooth module. The point is you can solder this to anything that you want. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to grab this F7 right here. And this is a T-Motor F7. This is a really cool looking board, by the way. If you haven't noticed, you've got all your components on one side and nothing on the other, which makes for a very safe board. 
not much could go wrong if you were to protect one side and one side only. All right, pilots, let's go ahead and wire this up so I can show you how quick and simple it is as well as connecting to the PC and showing you how to set it up on Betaflight. So grab your Bluetooth module, make sure you can read your pads, right? So right here I can read it. Power, ground, RX, TX, so on and so forth. So I'm gonna grab my iron. So on this flight controller, I've got a fantastic area right here. This is called TX6 and RX6. And I'm gonna hit it, boom. There's my RX, and I'm going to go ahead and hit my TX, right? Boom. Then I need a 5 volt and a ground, and as you can see, they are everywhere. So let's go ahead and just take them right here. Boom. Ground. Boom. 5 volts. I'm going to roll this around. I'm going to grab my tweezers. This is very easy stuff, guys. Check this out. I'm going to grab my ground. Done. Grab my positive. Done. Do not go to another pad. No 9 volts, no 7 volts, no 3.3 volts. You need 5. A 5 volt rail is very popular on flight controllers. You should have no problem finding a spare one or check the loading rate of your back and you can possibly share that pad with another device. It shouldn't come to that unless you've got a, a ton of stuff going on there, but it, it really shouldn't happen. Now I'm going to grab my RX from my Bluetooth module and I'm going to put it to the TX on my flight controller, right? And then last but not least, I'm going to grab my TX from my Bluetooth module and I'm going to go to the RX on my flight controller. Now there is one more pad that I need. Normally you'd be doing this to a flight controller that's inside of a drone. I am doing this outside of the drone, so I'm going to need to be able to power this up. So I'm going to go ground and VBAT, and then I'm going to grab my ground. Nothing special, right? And then I'm going to grab my power. Boom. Okay. So now here is where I can show you your LED status and how it works and how to use it. The only thing to be mindful of, if you're not sticking around to watch the rest of this video, please be sure to set or check your baud rate. Your baud rate needs to be 115, 200. Be sure that you're set there. I don't know if it will or won't work. Just, just set it there. If you don't know what that is, I'm going to show you here in a sec. Okay. Check this out. This is a plug. Oh, see that? Now, this is obviously more than a four pin, and all we would need is a four pin because there's four wires on our Bluetooth module. This one has more, I think it has. Now, obviously, I, I could de-pin and still use it, but how cool would it be to solder this up here, have this rolled up on my flight controller, and when I need to or when I want to, I could just simply plug in my Bluetooth module, which would be soldered up to this side. How cool is that? So that's just, just a small little idea, and you can buy these for pennies. So if you're concerned about the five grams or concerned about space or whatever, ooh, I got it. Maybe you want to buy 10 of these, okay? You want to buy 10 of these connectors, and you want to put one on every quadcopter, and then you can just hop around with your one Bluetooth module and plug it in and make updates out in the field. It's like having your little computer with you. You would just have a Bluetooth module with you with a female plug that would just plug into the mail when you want to. Ooh, don't tell Speedy B I said that because they're probably better off if you buy 10 modules. I mean, they're cheap enough. They're nine bucks, so... No big deal there. All right, so immediately you're seeing lights, right? I've got a red and I've got a flashing white. So if you're curious what your LEDs mean, let me go over them with you real quick. A flashing white light indicates that the UART communication between the flight controller and your Bluetooth module is abnormal. Something's wrong. So pay attention for this flashing light. If it is a solid white light, it indicates that the communication with the flight controller is normal and you can use the app for wireless configuration. And if the light is flashing green, it indicates that the signal is being connected. Solid green indicates that the communication of the app has been successful, so that means you're connected. And if it's solid red, that means the module is powered. That's this LED right here. 
So here I am, brand new power up, I'm getting a flashing white light. What do you think the problem is? The problem is, is that I haven't set this up inside of Betaflight yet, so I'm going to unpower this flight controller, and we're gonna connect it to Betaflight, and I'm gonna show you how to set it up. Here we go. All right, pilots, so jumping into the PC, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my flight controller. As you can see, the light turns on, and I am now connected. So if we head in, now obviously this flight controller needs all sorts of setup, but just head over to the ports tab. You're gonna simply head down to the UART that you selected. So let's jump back on the flight controller. Which UART did I go to? If I look closely, I am on R6 and T6. So that is UART 6. I'm gonna head inside of Betaflight. I'm gonna tally on my UART 6 and I'm going to make sure that I'm set to 115, 200, just like we talked about your baud rate. It looks like they're all stock at 115, 200, so no worries there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and reboot, and we should ideally see this change to a white solid light, which it did, fantastico. Now we are gonna pull out our app, SpeedyB app right here. Here we go. Let me open this up just a tiny bit. Boom, there you are. Configure your quad has never been easier. Get started. Now, what are we doing? We are using a Bluetooth module, so let's go ahead and, uh-oh, how does it know? Nah. <gasps> it already knows, look at that. So I'm gonna hit yes, click connecting. Look at that, we're flashing green, we're flashing green. Can you see that over here? Yes, sir. I am connected, look. And as you just saw in Betaflight, now obviously if you jump back into Betaflight, I'm actually still connected. Oh wow, I didn't know this. You can actually connect to Betaflight via USB and through your Bluetooth module. All right, so we have our red LED indicating that we have full power, we have our solid green indicating that we are connected and running, and this is such a powerful app, guys. If, if you have never messed with Speedy B app or it's been a long time, it is not the way it used to. You have full beta flight at your fingertips on your phone, okay? And it is Android, Apple, the works. I run a Pixel, mine's a little better, <laughs> just kidding. But you can literally run whatever you want on this guy, and this does not limit to just flight controller. You can do black box, which is your black box logging. You can do ESC, you can literally do it all, and you can put this on any freaking quadcopter you want. How incredible. Stick it on a whoop drone, use my plug idea, and use it on a whoop out in the field, out at your mom's house down at the pool while chasing the cat around the neighborhood. It doesn't matter. Pilots, really, really quick, uh, for your Bluetooth module, one of the awesome settings you have available is right here, you're gonna see name passcode. If you click that, you can move through the setup to go ahead and set up a passcode, so that way not somebody else can just jump in, use their phone, connect to your module, and make changes to your flight controller. That would not be good. So what they did is they put a passcode there, so if you wanted to use it, that's where it is. I mean, come on, how could you not do this? Nine bucks, and look at this, and like I said, two for 15 if you buy from their website. I'll put a link for you down in the video description. I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did. I hope that you guys will go get your own Bluetooth module, and I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one. <laughs>